What's up, everybody? Winnie here with Winnie with Winnie, where you gonna win because you and me. Y'all, today I'm talking about complaining, okay? Complaining is draining. And we complain up a storm. We complain about everything. We complain about our life. We complain about our job. We complain about how much we get paid. We complain about our mama, our daddy, our sisters, our brothers, our house, our car. We complain about the rain when it rains. We complain about everything that we can possibly complain about, our opportunities, the way that we look. We complain about so much stuff all the time constantly and i want to help us to get to a place where we are taking that complaint and we are changing it or we are taking that complaint and we're realizing that we just need to like throw the complaint out and be more grateful for what we have whatever it is that we have so i'm going to share this with y'all a couple years ago i was complaining to somebody and that person looked me in my eye and they said Either you can complain and change your situation or you can stop complaining and just accept the fact that you're going to always like be with this person or in this situation. For me, it was a person. So I was in a relationship and I didn't like what my ex was doing. And, you know, I was complaining to this person and basically they were telling me like, you either need to change it up, like do something different, find somebody new, or you need to accept the fact that you are going to continuously be with this person and you need to stop complaining about it because that is what you're choosing. So I want to help y'all understand what this person told me because at first I was kind of hurt and bitter because I was like, I'm expecting you to listen to me and like give me some different feedback about how that person can change themselves. But instead you tell me I need to change myself, literally. Both options you gave me are all about me changing me and I wasn't happy with that. So once I got over my bitterness, I realized that what this person was saying to me was like, it was a real deal. Like it was loaded with value because what they were saying essentially is that, look, when you find yourself in a situation that you don't like so much that you have to complain to people, then you need to take a couple steps back, look at the situation and really decide like, are you gonna, are you gonna continue to be in this situation? Because if you're going to continue to be in it, then like there ain't no sense in complaining in it because you are choosing that you are making that choice every single day. So you need to be grateful for it or you need to change it up and get out of it. Change the way you think about it. Change it up. Move on. So my ex used to cheat on me, y'all. And when I had to sit there and listen to what this person said and take that invite that advice into account, one of the questions to myself was, is can I be OK? with somebody who cheats on me or is cheating so bad to me that I need to get out of this relationship and be serious about getting out of this relationship. Another thing was like, am I okay with having an open relationship? Like, is this person so valuable to me that I'm okay with having an open relationship and allowing them to see other people and I'm just gonna sit back and chill and stop complaining and be okay, be cool with it. Or do I need to move on? Because I can't do that, you know? So I had to make my decision. And that's just one example, but y'all, because we complain in so many different areas of our life, like imagine what happens in your life when you sit back and you really look at and consider what you're complaining about and what you can do about it to either stop complaining and accept it or to take that complaint and change it into a change, or excuse me, and make it a change in your life that you know you can implement to make the situation better to where you don't have to complain about it anymore. Y'all, people get so tired of hearing you complain. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, think about it like this. How many of y'all, I'm pretty sure everybody can probably been through this. How many of y'all know somebody who, as soon as they start walking up to you, you already knew they were about to start complaining about something. Like, as soon as they walk through the door, you like, they about to start complaining like, oh, she's going to come over here talking about all this foolishness and all this stuff. I don't even want to hear it. Like, people feel that way about us too, even when we think our complaints are small. People are like, please, don't come complaining to me. Like, that's negative energy. Come talk to me about some stuff that you're grateful for, that you're happy for. Like, keep that complaining over there. Don't nobody want to hear that, especially if you are going to stay in the situation that you're complaining about and not do anything about it. Like, we got to be serious about our lives, y'all. When we start to change the way we complain and really weigh out, like, is this worth complaining about? Or, like, can I do something about it? Then we change our life. I promise y'all, ever since that person told me that I can either change what I'm complaining about or I can deal with it, my life changed because I had to sit there and really think hard about like job in jobs and everything. I had to think hard about like, 
okay, for my job, for example, is the money so small that I can't live with it? Is the environment so bad that I can't grow in? And if it is, what do I need to do about it? And if it isn't, then how can I be more grateful and stop complaining, you know? And my life literally started to grow because I was now considering the things that are essential to me, the things that make me happy, the things that move me, the things that, you know, fit in line with my priorities, with my values, with my morals, etc. So y'all, this is it. It's really just a short message tonight. Um, but I want you to just look at your life. Be more grateful for the things that you have in life and complain less, you know, chill, take a chill pill, look at your life critically and say, yeah, I can sit with this. I can deal with this and I'll be all right. I ain't going to complain about it. Or no, I know that this is going to bring me pain. So I got to get out of this. I got to be dedicated to making the change or be dedicated to not complain about it when I decide to stay in it. Y'all, this is it for today. I love y'all so much. And as I always say to y'all, God is good. Life is good. We are amazingly blessed. Go out there, take care of yourself. Really think about what you can put up with, what you can't put up with. Stop complaining. Find people who are going to be real with you and tell you like, hey, you need to stop complaining or you need to like, you know, change it or get out of it or excuse me, change it or stay in it. And, you know, go have a good life, y'all. Have a good life. Have a better life. Have an improved life that you really, really look at and Take honest steps in because you know who you are. Y'all, I love y'all so much. See y'all.